What's up everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean the shipping company scenario let's play. Uh, last episode we, we uh, got some company contracts and we are now in the process of uh, delivering on those contracts. So as you can see the iVision Mersk is in Dublin. Uh, after we fulfill, actually I think after the Alabama uh, reaches port uh, we should be able to hit the 10 million euro mark. So that'll be uh, new for everybody here. We'll see what that provides for us. Probably uh, new ships, hopefully. Um, and we'll obviously be able to re, uh, get this uh, company contract here. We also have to pay back our investor at some point, or we have to become a tycoon to do that first. But that could be a challenge. Let's try to figure out here. We have a little bit of ways to go. Uh, let's get to uh, this port dock here. And so this will actually be a challenge. It looks like a tight squeeze and we have another ship coming in. Um, so let's slow down. So definitely be a, be a fun one. Because I really would like to get where he's at and swing her. I really want to get on. He's going to stop, of course. Um... I want to be where you are, mister. I want you to go. Alright, so we're going to swing then over closer towards them. So that way we can clear the edge of this. It's going to take a little bit of work here, though, I think. But the Dublin's definitely a port that we need to keep the, uh, the small ships in, I feel like. Definitely bringing the big ships into, into Dublin here is definitely a challenge. Unless you know, so we can get a dock along here, which I'm not sure if we could. Would be nice. Alright, come on baby. Swing, 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 swing. We're going to have to back her up. Which ain't too bad now that she, now that the other big vessel's out of here not too bad to back her up now but it's definitely I don't know why she didn't uh, just go herself you know like we weren't in any vicinity for it to uh, for us to collide but maybe she just felt like she was a little wide and didn't want to create that big wake in the process but come on baby let's uh, let's give her a few more knots here we're still under our limit, and then let's slow her down. And we are within our parking zone. So that is good. Definitely our fastest time, that's nice. Ah, oh, we did hit our 10 million euros. And, uh, didn't really give us anything for that. We didn't even get to, uh, concierge for that. Hmm. Once we do that, uh, we'll be able to buy Panamax ships. Oh, well, that's neat. Huh. Well, we did get the 10 million euros. We can only pay back our investor once we become a tycoon. Let's see if we can go to anything to raise a bit. And there's nothing there. I'm trying to think here what we should do. Um, our ship's status is low. She needs fuel also. Holy cow. See those prices? Yeah, we definitely want something to raise back if possible. So let's keep her in port for about three days there. Get her up to 75%. And then uh, let's check out the world map. Well, we have new contracts available. So let's go into port. Check them out. Uh, I'm probably also... I don't know what we're... Yeah, there's nothing... Nothing going back to Reykjavik yet. So we're still fine though. We still have time. Alright, the Eye Vision Mersk. Oh, she's been repaired. And we have new contracts. And uh, so let's see what we have. And still nothing. Hmm. That's a long ways to go. I just don't know which would be the shorter distance. Let's put in that much. Let's see how far it is. Four days, five days. 
So let's just go to Lisbon. Let's go at half power. We're wasting time, but but we just have nowhere to go. I just, you know, we could go to Hamburg. Let's go to let's go to our port of birth. Um, we're gonna we're gonna t go out manually just because we don't have any any cargo. But we could, you know, it's hard to say how long we could be sitting in dock there. So, I mean, we're at least two days out. I mean, in half that time, we're already halfway to Hamburg, and hopefully we can get something. At the same time, then we should have just went to, aww. Never mind, we're calling the tug. I'm not backing out of there. Just is not happening. So let's go into Reykjavik here. And, uh... So the 10 million euros kind of wasn't, was blah, we didn't get, get anything good for it. So that kind of stinked, I was kind of hoping for something nice to, to show you guys, but there wasn't. Uh, let's speed this bad boy up. Look at that. All right, let's slow her down. Maybe she'll turn a little bit harder now. All right, let's speed her up. Let's swing her over. Let's swing her down. Let's go straight in. Hopefully we can swing the rear end of her in like so. I think we'll I think we'll be good. I might have misjudged it again. I might have misjudged it. I pretty much sure I misjudged it. Yeah, I misjudged it. Not by much though, but she was misjudged. All right, there she is. Now let's go straight. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm back the other way, buddy. That's a little close there. Guys on the ship are probably like, whoa. Alright. There we go. That was pretty, pretty lucrative there. 11.3 million euros. Let's go to our contracts here. Let's go for the big ones that we can get. So. We want you, we want you, and we want you. Those are the three biggest ones. And uh, that should basically cover. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one here. Vegetarian, that one's for beans and bones. We wanted this one. That, that is not good. Hmm. Well, not much we can do about it. Um, we are, I think we have enough fuel we can get to get there. But look at her. We are just filling her up every time we come in. So let's go. We're going to go at half power. Give us 11 days. That's perfect. Let's cast off. Um, we should just start going with tug assistance now. 11.3 million euros um, is definitely plenty. definitely plenty I, th I definitely think let me know in the comments guys should we start using the uh, the tug and then you guys don't have to see me do this or do you guys want want to see me every now and then pull into ports and then the majority of the time call the tug or do you want me to pull into the port myself and then call the tug to go out let me know in the comments what you guys think um, and then we'll decide there because um, stuff like this is gonna take us a while so oh that sign change. Let's see if we can see if it's out oh, there. It goes again. I just don't want to keep you guys wasting wasting time here watching me slowly pull out of these ports um, and we could be getting new cargo and, and managing the other finer things of the business. So that is all. We could also consider it $200,000 for the tug as, as part of a business expense. But then we have to factor that in every time a ship comes in and out. I mean, that's an automatic 400,000 euros. 
that uh, we have to uh, come up with. So, it's definitely something to keep in mind. I think we're going to stay at the one kilometer here. It'll give us a chance. I know it's slow. It's painstakingly slow. The only reason I'm getting through is because I'm talking to you guys. If you guys watching, it's got to be like, oh my gosh. These small ports are definitely not designed for these big ships. We, we could have had the smaller ship come in. We're actually not going to bring the Alabama back either. We're going to have, uh, well, I shouldn't say we're not going to bring her back. I want her not to have to come back to Reykjavik here unless absolutely necessary for big, big contract hauls. But we should definitely have the, uh, the Maersk come back here and finish out this contract for us. Which I think she'll be able to. Maybe not because I messed up. I didn't realize that. Uh, oh man, that's not going to clear. Not going to clear. Oh boy. I was hoping to get us out of here a little bit faster. Let's swing her. Alright, let's go forward now. Oh. I don't know what we hit there to get damage. What are we hitting? I feel like we're so far away from the, uh, maybe not. We're pretty close in the rear. Just let us get into this cove here and then we'll be fine. There we go. Oh, we've now, uh, we're really exceeding our times on getting out of the here. This big ship is just killing us. But she's a beauty though when she's fully loaded like this. I love it. I love it. We're right on the line. Don't worry about being out of bounds. Aye aye, Captain. I don't know if we have to be back in the uh, zone. No, no, we don't even have to be back in the zone. That's kind of nice. So here's our empty ship. The Merce heading back to uh, Hamburg for us. Let's speed up the time there, and she's ready to dock. We're obviously going to go in manually. She's only 100,000 to dock. It must be the bigger ship that, because uh, of the big vessel size, that it requires more money to dock. It's interesting. All right, let's pull her in. I bet you too. Hamburg's the one that we got stuck with the last with the Alabama the first time, wasn't it? Because we aren't sitting at yeah, we're not at one of these Bertus. We're in the uh, the far back one. It's the only thing I don't like about Hamburg. So definitely keep that in mind if you uh, when it, when it asks for your port of call. You know you guys have now seen a lot of these ports at least once. Um, some of them we haven't been to. Uh, as much as others. Obviously Lisbon's one of the easiest ones to pull in and out of. Hamburg's one of the longer ones to pull in and out of. And probably one of the more difficult ones for a bigger vessel. The Alabama I would classify as a bigger bigger vessel. Almost too big for this port. Um, we need ships this size, this size. Um, the Alabama would be nice if we could get docked in one of these birds here, but we can't. We're actually going really fast through here, I just realized. Wasn't really paying attention to my own speed. But, eh, oh well. I do like the lights on this building here. Doesn't it kind of seem like it's jittery a little bit? There we go. A little bit smoother. Oh, this is really jittery for whatever reason. Hmm. That is interesting. Optimization, game optimization. These companies are just not not great. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the Batman game, the new Arkham Arkham Knight, how unoptimized it was for PC. Such a big game too to not be optimized is is really really crazy. But not much we can do about it. It's not up to us. Let's slowly slow her down here. I think she, they'll turn the vessel around for us uh, when we pull out of dock here, which would be nice. And this and this one's not too bad to pull out. It's small enough. Well, we did make uh, fast time, part of it because we were flying through here. Uh, 
there we go Razorback but we can't take medicines because we, we don't have the refrigeration system unreal go figure all right we got some contracts let's see what we got here still nothing let's see where's we can go to Rotterdam with some metal it's not really a journey um, but because it needs to be there in seven days it'll give us uh, some cash it'll give us our uh, well add to our reputation I should say so that's kinda good um, we don't really want to fuel up too too much here and yeah, fuel is so expensive in these areas I mean we have been saving our fuel because we've been I just want to check our reputation here I can't I wonder what why we can't uh, Felix though no we were going to, we want Rotterdam there we go cast off let's get her out of here obviously we're gonna do it manually because our contract is only for 134,000 we spent at least 100,000 in fuel so we're not even gonna make money on this trip but we're just trying to get our vessel oh, excuse me we we're trying to get our vessel to um, Reykjavik and it's just not working out for us none of these ports have goods for there must not be a big port I've never I really been paying attention you guys know what the ranking is on that port it's like ni maybe 19 in the in the world 19 in the world? I don't know I feel like that would be decent alright let's come on baby you can do it you can do it I was really hoping to f be able to finish it up this company contract this episode but it is, does not look like it because the uh, ports are not playing very nicely with us and giving us what we need I was almost thinking you know, I was just thinking about maybe I'll just uh, I have to tug pull pull the Alabama into uh, Lisbon there but that just does not make sense such an easy port to pull in and out of so let's just get this guy out of here. This ain't too bad for the, for the for the smaller vessels. Hamburg's not that bad either. It's when you get the bigger ones in that it just becomes an issue. I realize I'm going pretty fast again here. So I don't mean to be. It's just trying to help the uh, the game link so you guys can see a little bit more other stuff versus. Me point in and out of these ports. It is kind of neat though seeing all the different ports. The ship building yard that they have here in Hamburg is neat. That fishing vessel that's always sitting there no matter when we come. There we go. I feel like the faster we go with her, the uh. And the more we zoom out. That's just weird. If like we slow down when we kind of zoom in a little bit, we get a little jaggedness. If we're zoomed in going fast, we get jaggedness. But if we're zoomed out and going fast, we're, we're pretty smooth. It's very, very interesting how this game works for optimization type stuff. But we are out and we are on our way. Oh, the new wharf has. Oh, yes. Hmm, our quarterly financials are not going well. We don't want, don't need stuff hurting our... We're just going to use Tugus. Actually, I don't think we've ever been to Rotterdam. Well, we have been to Rotterdam once. I was going to use Tug Assistance just to show... Just to get in and out of here. But, uh... You guys haven't seen... It's been a while since we've been to Rotterdam. So we'll check it out check it out here it will be nice it's kind of neat this, this these uh, water breakways that they got I think during like high tides or something or storms these things actually close and it keeps the seawall see uh see at bay of the ocean which is really neat very very neat all right, I don't know where we're going here. Looks like we got to go that way though. 
<laughs> so that is the way we'll head. She is very, uh, very green and foggy. Very green and foggy, that's what she is. Alright, which side do we have to be? Oh, there's our berth, it looks like. That's a, uh, it's an interesting spot for a berth. Definitely shouldn't be that hard, though. It would be kind of nice. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to slide right in there. Almost. We, uh, looks like we're going to overshoot it, though. Looks like we are going to overshoot it. Which is not good. We might have to back up. I really don't want to so let's hope that we can get her in come on oh yeah she'll be fine look at this we'll swing the rear end in and that's how we do that that's nice so she said that journey was worth it that's interesting interesting she thought that way because I did not feel that way We have metal that can go to Lisbon. I just... I mean, this ship can only carry 180 tons, so let's let's be honest. If we're... Let's, yeah, let's just take the metal. We'll take the metal. We'll, uh... We'll fuel her up just enough. And, uh... We'll actually sail out ourselves. As well, the one other last thing, I just want to wait for the, the Alabama to get here so I can show you guys how much we have remaining. And, uh, it's going to take half power. Seven days to get their half power, huh? Let's go there in full power. Well, we're not really in a... I mean, we are, but we're not. Let's, let's just go. Let's gonna take up yeah, let's just go at full power we're trying now to bring in more money so our reputation doesn't suffer so that way our consultant doesn't uh, doesn't yell at us anymore I'm tired of tired of him yelling at me oh this is a uh, it's a good thing we didn't have to pull in here actually this probably won't be too bad to have to pull into be a straight shot like some some liquid storage tanks of some sort maybe for fuel it's interesting very in a big tank so so you can see the big ship over over there looks like she's waiting for us maybe not Oh, the White House. You can see the fog. That is really cool. That was really cool. Alright, so we got to be careful here. We have a narrow gap to shoot through. Well, it looks like we are on a straight course. So let's increase our speed. Yeah, we're straight course and out of here. But this is really cool. It would be kind of neat if we could actually see these clothes. Um, so that is really neat when they're closed as well. You can see the track that they're on. It looks like they're partially closed already. Obviously. It's interesting that they're partially closed having traffic go through. You would think that they would want them all the way open. Alright, so the Alabama is in. Let's quickly dock her in Lisbon here. You know she's a quick, quick dock. And then that will do it for us. Uh... I'll obviously show you guys how much left we have to uh, move around, and at this point, because another month has gone by, uh, we should it should show less months now left on the uh, on the delivery for this. So, remember, a round trip for her is about I want to say around 20 days, uh, so almost a month for a round trip. So luckily we had five months to deliver all this cargo, and that's which is nice. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, and you know we're gonna have to back up because I was telling you guys about the uh, 
That was just stupid of me. That was just dumb. But, uh, so the month should be showing the last. Five months is a long time, though, for us. It's plenty of time with two ships. I like how it says the iVision Alabama on the side. I also did see you guys' comments about new ship names, so the next time we, uh, obviously get, get ships, we'll, we'll definitely name them for you guys. I appreciate that. So, you guys, remember, guys, keep letting me know in the comments if you have any ship name ideas. Obviously, we're not buying too many ships at the moment. We're going to hit this dock. Oh, boy, that's so close. Wow. Um, so don't worry, I am reading your comments, guys. I know what you guys want. And we, we'll get there. And we are in and docked. And so, it took 12 days to get here. So, yeah, it's about once a month. So we can check out the company contract here. We'll go to our accepted. And actually, the duration hasn't changed. Interesting. Uh, we can see the 110 days remaining. 70% um, of the contract has now been delivered. Um, so one more trip should do it. And uh, then we'll be good to go. So thanks for, for watching guys. Have a great day.